Hi, hello and howdy. My name is Erin of Essentially Erin and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to compare two of probably the most popular curly hair brushes on the market. The Be Hairful brush and the Denman brush. Now the Be Hairful brush only comes in one model as of right now. However, the Denmans are a plenty. So this is the D81L paddle brush. I wanted to compare these two primarily because of how similar in structure that they are. So we have the bristles on the bottom and then we have more flexible movement up here and we have a hard edge. And we have the exact same thing in this Denman brush, okay? I am going to use the exact same technique on both sides. I've split my hair down the middle. I've already added my cream-based stylers, but if you guys are new around the channel, I only like to add my gel after I've styled with a brush, not before, because I feel like the brush actually takes some of the gel out of the hair. So we will add the gel as we style each section. Now, if you haven't watched any of my brush styling videos before, I will link them in the comment box. I have one for Denman and my Be Hairful review. However, the key to brush styling that I have noticed is keeping your hair wet. So you always need to make sure that you have a spray bottle handy in order to keep the hair stopping so that it can move through the hair smoothly. I also like to keep a couple of alligator clips handy because it keeps the hair kind of wrapped in, moisture locked in while I'm working through each section. So those are the tools, let's jump in. Now, first we're gonna go in with the Denman. I actually just opened this Denman, so I haven't even used it myself yet. I literally have like the torn paper right next to me. So I'm excited to see how it does. I am going to do Denman on this side and I'll do the Be Hairful brush on this side. So we'll go ahead and twist this up and put it away. And then I will split this. Okay, so as I've stated in other videos, the key to brush styling for me is tension. I am going to be using the brush ribbons technique. I did talk about in a video I put out a couple weeks ago with different styling techniques for definition and volume. I will link that above and below for you guys, but we are essentially going to take each section, always remembering to pull out from the hair. I twist the brush slightly and then I use my hand here to hold it and it creates these really nice ribbons. See? Now I use the cream conditioner from Flora and Curl, so I'm going to follow up with the curl defining gel as well. Today was deep condition day for me which means I always want to follow up with uh, products that have a decent amount of protein in them. Okay, so overall it moved really easily through my hair. That was actually pretty good. I didn't, I don't really know what to expect because Denmans are always like slightly finicky, but overall not bad. Okay, so quick and easy. This is the Denman side. Now I'm just gonna let that sit and get started on the Be Hairful brush side and we're gonna do the exact same thing. the Be Hairful brush side.
Okay, so both sides are done. It will be very interesting to see how this turns out. Now for volume, we're going to chop with the Curl Volumizing Foam, also from Flora and Curl. Now, I know that I am a huge proponent of diffusing because you guys know I have zero patience and I hate waiting for my hair to dry because feeling wet hair on my neck is disgusting. However, on split tests, I've realized just over time that a lot can go right and a lot can go wrong with diffusing. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to plop and scrunch using my um, tea owl that they were kind enough to gift and send over to me. It's a great microfiber towel. It's made of this really soft t-shirt stretch like material. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now. I really like it. Um, so I'm going to scrunch out the moisture that's in my hair and then I'm just gonna let it air dry for the next few hours. After that, we will talk about the results. All right, so I will see you guys in 10,000 hours because that's how long it takes my hair to dry. Six hours later. Okay, so as per my usual, I wanted to show you guys what the results looked like before I broke the cast. So here we have the Denman paddle brush side. And here we have the be careful brush side. So pretty similar results at least while still on the cast. I do think that I have more volume on the Be Hairful brush side than I do on the Denman, but I think that once you break the cast, we'll be able to kind of definitively tell. And like full disclosure, this is the first time I'm styling my hair post DIY at home haircut. So well, it turned out pretty decently, like I'm not mad, um, but let's go ahead and break the cast and then look at the final results. We are of course using my favorite verb ghost oil one and like a dash pump is usually enough for me. Always emulsify first. All right, so here are the final results from the Denman paddle brush and the be hairful brush i definitely think that while similar i do have more definition on the be hairful brush side than i have on the denman brush side i think that they're both great options for paddle brushes and i do have some really good definition back here but for some reason it's just falling slightly near the front whereas here i kind of have good like clumps and definition throughout the hair Yeah, I can definitely see it, especially when you hold it up like this. Now, the biggest differentiator between these two brushes is that the Be Hairful brush is gonna run about $40 without any discounts um, and no tax included in that. Whereas the Denman brush runs at about 25-ish. So it's almost half the cost of the Be Hairful brush. So if you're okay with results that look pretty similar, but maybe don't necessarily hold as long or don't have the same kind of definition, then definitely the Denman paddle brush is a solid option. If you are wanting something that's a little bit more of an investment and longer lasting, then I might recommend the Be Hairful brush between the two. And that's it. So that is my review comparing the Be Hairful brush to the Denman D81L brush. Both very similar in look and feel, but give different results. I have reviewed several brushes here on the channel, but we are gonna kinda go into our Brush Battle Royale series where we start pitting brushes against each other and seeing which one gives us the type of results that we like. So if you wanna see two different brushes go head to head, please leave a comment below and let me know what you guys wanna see. I'm excited to review things like the Wet Brush, the Tangle Teaser, you guys know I have my Denman 7 and my 9 row. There are a ton of different brushes out there for curly hair and for curly hair tools. Be sure to like, subscribe, so that you guys keep up to date with all of these videos as they keep coming out. And I know I've said this in a bunch of other videos before, but don't ever forget that a brush is just a tool used to enhance what you already got. It enhances your beauty because true beauty comes from you essentially being yourself.